Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly once again coming at you, uh, Bishop Bowser. I want to talk today about um, a clip I saw on No Jumper, uh, which dealt with uh, Adam 22 and um, this young man uh, called Blockstar, right? Um, the, the interview was about the killing of Pop Smoke another young man that got killed several years ago and the issue that I want to address in regards to this is you know what Black Star said right he he said that he did not feel sorry for um, killing or being a part of the homicide the murder the killing of, of taking a, a innocent life which is a pop star taking his life he did not feel sorry about it and when I uh, listened to him and heard him say that, you know, there was a couple things that ran across my mind. First thing that ran across my mind is that the system is failing our young people, right? Whatever time he did in there, it, you know, it takes about 18 months to change behavior, right? And we know that in that process, uh, you can have relapses, but it takes about 18 months. To my understanding, he was gone about three something years. Uh, so there's plenty of time to work with this young man and to change his mindset but to get out and say that you know hey i don't feel sorry about it uh is is it, it shows us that our young people have lost their humanity and maybe never had any humanity maybe never had any values right um but i believe somewhere along the line someone would talk something in their life when they were younger but as they grew older grow older um they get um contaminated and corrupted by our society and so that really, you know, bothered me to hear this young man say that, right? That the system has failed us. And then I would say also that a lot of our so-called um, OGs, right? Or elders or whatever you want to call them that come from that lifestyle, the gang lifestyle, the, the drug lifestyle, the violent, the criminal lifestyle, been maybe done a lot of time and things like that. And these guys are in their 50s and 60s and, and some in the 40s, but especially the 50s and 60s, and still, in a sense, um, gloating and glorifying violence, right? And I think like with Adam 22, I uh, had this young man on his show, he also had uh, Terrence Gangsta Wims on his show. And you know, Gangsta Wims kind of said the same thing, right? He said he have no regret, you know, because of the people that he killed, right? Over 40 some people, around 40 some people, and he had no regret. Uh, in in the, the lives that he took, right? Now, maybe Blockstar saw that interview, right? And was going to come on and mimic and follow pursuit in what uh, Terrence Gangster Williams said. And what bothers me about that is that Terrence Gangster Williams says that, you know, he's trying to mentor or, or work with young people and help other young people, things like that. You can't help young people if you have not um, repented and turned from your own sinful and evil ways, right? Uh, the only way you're going to help someone else, you have to first change and be transformed yourself. And to say that you have no regret lets us know that you have not been transformed. You have not been changed. Uh, your mindset is still there. You And, and Terrence Gangster Williams even said that he would kill again, right, for his brother or someone like that. And so uh, somebody killed 40 people and, and then put the blame on or, or solve cases by going to someone's dead homies and be able to get out. I think the system felt us that way too, right? He shouldn't even be out with that kind of mindset. I, I, I don't want to see anybody locked up or in prison, but some of the stuff that these guys are promoting is pathetic, right? Uh, you see people like Cartoon 53, he told you, I, I heard him say that he was in his 60s. Uh, OG Percy, I don't know how old he is, but he, he's too old to, these guys are too old to be out here promoting the gang, right? We should be trying to promote something positive. And so that, that really bothered me. Then the third thing is, uh, when I when I look at this and see how um, Adam 22 right um, brought this this young man on the show, and I know a lot of people upset about it. I I have no um, for or against in, in or debate about that. But the one thing that I will say is that by bringing this young man on on the show, it did show us where his mindset is, and it's kind of scary. You know, I lock my doors and close my windows and hope that I don't be the next one that he see me post something somewhere or whatever and come and kill me and rob me, you know, because it seems like this young brother has not changed, right? And um, the sad thing is, is that 
uh, they, uh, uh, he probably don't have it. By him coming on the show the way he, he has some terrible handlers. Uh, there's a, whether he has a manager or whatever he have to have that kind of mindset, it seems like everybody is about the money. And that's the thing I want to say, you know, with Adam 22, I know it's about the views, the clicks, the money and all that, but that's what everyone is doing. And we're forgetting that these are human lives. These are people who have, who were mothers and fathers. Uh, they had mothers and fathers that loved them. They had grandparents that loved them. They had siblings that loved them. They had friends that loved them. And you, when you're a celebrity like uh, Pop Smoke, you have fans that love you and so on. And just to come on and promote violence all the time is pathetic. And so my thing is, is that uh, uh, these shows got to do better, but also um, uh, people like Terrence Gangster Williams got to do better, right? Uh, got to quit going around promoting murder and killing and saying you don't have no regret. Because you know what the end result is? A 21-year-old young man like Blockstar, right? Now, he has to take responsibility for his actions, what he's done. But what role models, what examples does he really have to look to to know that he can do better, right? And so because all these platforms like Adam 22 platform promotes is wickedness and evil, right? They promote violence, they promote gangs. You know, I had a couple of young men that I know they have gone on to um, Adam 22 to talk about their rap songs and things like that, hip hop songs. So, you know, uh, uh, music. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. You know, gives them a platform they can spread it. But we got to move more towards the positive versus the negative, you know. But I will say that, you know, at least we were able to see through this interview that uh, Blackstar um, has not really changed, right? Uh, at least from the interview that he gave. It's horrible. And so that's all I want to share with you today. And, and I think that uh, the main thing is the responsibility falls on uh, these podcast shows and on our OGs. We got to do better to help our young people do better. Otherwise, we set a horrible example to him for him. So you, you can't really blame him. I mean, you blame him, but you, you we can really I can see why. Let me just say this. Way. I can really see why he's thinking the way he think and his mindset hasn't changed. The system don't care. It seems like many people in our community, especially our OGs, because that's all we promote is this negativity. And those are the ones that get the subscribers, the likes, the views, the shares and all those type of things. And you, you always got to talk about something negative or or violent or harmful or a prison story, a gang story and things like that, rather than pushing positive positivity in our community, positivity online. So I hope that that change. OGs got to change. Podcasters got to change in order for our young people to really change. All right. God bless you.